Hi everyone, today I'm going to make my own little version of a Swedish traditional dish that is called brunkål. It's exactly as um, sexy as it sounds in the translation. It's basically brown cabbage, but it's not brown cabbage really. We're going to use ordinary cabbage. Um, it's a dish that is served together with pork and stuff like that. I'm just going to do the dish as it is and I'm going to sort of update it a little bit more to what I like. And because cabbage is really in season, it's super cheap, it's so healthy, and you can do so many things with it. You know I ferment constantly, but also this is a, a warm dish that I'm going to cook, so and it, it's super quick and it, it's really sweet and lovely and Christmassy. So for my version of brun kål or brown cabbage, I'm going to use half a head of uh, cabbage, just white cabbage. You can use red as well, it really doesn't matter. I've done it with all sorts of cabbages as well. Uh, and that I'm going to fry in some coconut oil. Oh, can you see how, how cold it is here in London now? So the coconut oil is set. So disappointing, but I love Christmas, so I am sort of looking forward to it anyway. And I'm going to use some leek. I'm going to use about a third of this, like, like well, maybe 10 centimeter of a leek. And I'm going to use some gingers. I'm going to grate this a bit. Uh, maybe half a tablespoon to a tablespoon, depending on how much you love ginger. It comes with gorgeous health benefits, as you well know. And um, a little bit of maple syrup. One tablespoon of maple syrup for sweetness. And because it is a Christmas dish after all and some tamari as well for taste and you know tamari is gluten-free so it's it's a better choice than ordinary soy sauce and I'm adding some pumpkin pie mix because I got loads and it tastes so nice and, and this is and for us this smell is just pure and adulterated Christmas so it's going to smell and taste very Christmassy and and be very gorgeous and you know cabbage is so healthy for us it's so good for us and so cheap so we are going to certainly make use of that so you need half the cabbage head and then I'm going to take away the stalk here in the middle because that's not it's a little bit too rough I think and then just cut it up so that's our cabbage and we also need our uh, leek and I'm just putting in everything at the same time. Heat up your pan and put your coconut oil in there. And I'm not using non-stick. Uh, I don't have any non-sticks and I will never get any non-stick pans at all. Um, this is a cast iron pan and they last for lifetimes. Uh, I'm pretty sure my children will have this one. And some of the cast iron pans I've got are from generations back, so you don't have to throw them away. And then just put all the veggie in at the same time. And now you need to soften this in the pan for about six minutes. Then you put in the grated ginger, about a tablespoon, and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie mix. And if you don't have that, you could just you know, put in nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger and cloves and then, or anything Christmassy like that, like especially, you know, cinnamon and maybe a bit more ginger. And we need a little bit of sweetness, so I'll put one teaspoon of maple syrup as well in there. In Sweden we have a lot of syrup in this. And now you can see it's becoming a little bit more brun or brown, so yeah, hence the name. And also tamari, just for taste, it's just for so something like that. And that's it, it's ready to serve. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this video and come back next week for another healthy video. And also pop by to lisagusto.com for more information about healthy stuff. So um, yeah, don't forget that and I will see you next week. Take care, have a fabulous week.